for me. Get us on record. We are working on our hamstrings tonight. So just to get you warmed up, guys, I'm going to give you uh, 60 seconds just of reverse lunges to get those legs warm, get the muscles working, pop on my timer, and off we go. A 60 second reverse lunge, lovely. Very nice. Just keep moving. We have another 40 seconds. Does anyone feel their quads after those pike leg lifts last night? Yeah. <laughs> oh, even with those few lunges there, I was like, ouch. 20 seconds, guys. Try and get the heart rate up a little bit. Hiya, Anna. We've just started. Oh. Are we lunging? Yeah, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Using your yoga mat, guys, I'm going to take one foot half away and in front, half a foot in front of the other, and I'm going to bounce down and just take little mini steps forward as you come into this pipe walk. Once you get to the top of your mat, you do the same backwards. All right, off we go. Very nice. So you can have a soft knee bend if you need, but then work on getting that knee as straight as you can as you start to warm up. Lovely. So a little bounce towards the toes, forward and back. We'll go for another 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Next, we're going to start down in the bottom of your tuck. Get as much of a knee compression as you can. Two bounces here. One, two. Send the hips up, squeeze the knees. One, two. Upper bounces with the uh, upper body. Down for two, up for two. Off we go. Keeping your hands as close to your feet will make it a bit more challenging. And if you find your uh, hands lifting off, if you have yoga blocks nearby, you can just place your hand on that. Good, nice knee compression at the bottom. And I really want you to go for a locked out knee at the top here. You can lift your upper body as much as you need. 15 seconds. Really good guys. Three, two, one, and relax. So standing up for the next one, if you want to hold onto the wall or a chair, taking your left leg out in front, create some good tension, and we're gonna go for 10 leg lifts, and then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds at the top. So three, two, one, off we go. Everybody might be slightly different here, guys. So 10 controlled leg lifts, especially on the way down. I want your lowering of the legs slower than the way up. On that 10th rep, guys, you're gonna hold it up for your own count of 10 seconds. Really good. Aiming for hip height, you might find that leg dropping, that's okay. Really nice. And make your way to the opposite side, 10 lifts, and a 10 second hold. Really good work. Love your control on the way down, Jenny. Once you're done, guys, just shake it off. We're going to come into our first exercise. So we did this one two weeks ago. 
Uh, I want you to get something that you can rest your hands on in front. It can be any kind of object. I have my yoga blocks here. So I'm coming down into my pipe position. I'm going to take one foot behind me and point my toe. From here, I'm going to drive that leg up to the sky. And as I get to the top, pulling my chest down as much as I can. For one, two. So you're really actively pulling that leg up as you pull your chest down to the floor. We're gonna go for uh, 30 seconds and then we're gonna hold it up here for 10 seconds to finish. All right, so I'm gonna get you guys, let you set up. Perfect T. Two foam rollers, two books, excellent guys. So I'm gonna get you going for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, off you go. Lovely. So remember to pull your torso or your chest down as much as you can. There you go, Jenny, as you bring that leg up. You can put a little bit of force into kicking it up there, but try to control it back down. Really think of pointing that toe. T, you can bend the arms for me and take your left leg closer to your, um, yeah, there you go. Three, Two, one, hold it up guys for 10 seconds. Jamie, Pull talking. your chest down. Should your elbows be straight or no, bend the elbows as much as you want. Yeah, actively pull that chest down for three, two, pull the heel up and one. Very nice guys. So we're going into the opposite leg. So the hands are just there for a little bit of balance stability. You can bend them. It's just important you pull that chest down to get your leg as high as you can. All right, guys, off we go. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Try and keep your object close to that foot that's on the ground. So Jenny, you can bring that yeah, a little bit closer. There you go. Good, and keeping your knees, both knees locked out if possible. Great work, five seconds. We're going straight into your 10 second hold. All right, and hold that leg up there for 10. Three, two, one, and relax. Lovely guys. Our next exercise, we're gonna come into our half split. You can keep those two objects by your hands for a little bit of balance. So I'm down on one knee, my opposite leg is extended out in front. Again, I want to emphasize tension in that leg. So try not to have a soft bend or the toe pulled up. You want to squeeze that quad and point your foot. From here, I want you to get as much forward fold or compression as you can. It's a little bit like our leg lifts, but a different um, position. From here, I'm going to pull that leg up Again for 30 seconds. Now, if I'm way back here and I can do this, it means it's too easy. I'm just looking for one to two, one inch, we'll say, taking your heel off the ground. So lean in as much as you can, and it should be really difficult to pull that leg up. Okay? We're going in 10 seconds, guys. If you've already started, I apologize. Three two and one, off we go. Lovely tea. So Sonny, you want to lean into that more so it's even more challenging. Drop your chest as much as you can. Very nice guys, it's just a little lift. This is your active flexibility again, 10 seconds. Very nice. And rest, guys. Shake it out. How was that? Is it normal for your leg to cramp? Yeah, you okay. will. So similar to our pike leg, leg lift Anna, do you know when you get that cramp? Yeah. The very same this one. It's real intense on that upper quad. Yeah. So just, just give yourself a break if that happens or ease back out of the position so it's a little bit easier. 10 seconds, guys, and we're taking it to the opposite leg. Three two and one. So challenge yourself, lean into this one and you should just about get that heel one inch off the floor. 
feel that quad working. Good, Jenny. Halfway. Three, two, one. Great work, everybody. So as you guys rest, I'm gonna demo our next one. We're standing up again. This time I'm placing my object on the floor and I'm gonna take the ball on my foot up onto the side of my yoga block. And if you have another object or something that you can rest your hands on, just in front of that block. So from here, guys, I'm gonna stay in my pipe position this time and just drop down into that stretch. If it feels good, I want you to take more weight onto the front foot and maybe point your back foot so that the front of your foot is on the floor. Okay, otherwise you can stay here, whichever feels better for you. So let me see your setup. And we're gonna go 45 seconds on each side this time. Very nice, Jenny. And you can, if that's a foam roller, Jenny, you can turn it upright so you're really comfortable with whatever you're holding on to in front. All right, guys, off we go. 45 seconds. <clears throat> Lovely. And the idea is to kind of lean into that front leg, taking more weight forward onto that leg that you're stretching. Maybe coming up onto the ball of your back foot without compensating with the soft knee, guys. Keep that knee really locked out. Very nice, Jenny. Super. T, can you get your hands right down on that um, foam roller? There you go, lean into it. There you go, take it closer and lean onto it, yeah. <sighs> Jesus, this is never ending. <laughs> what you say? It's never ending. Now, we have 10 seconds. Just breathe into the stretch. If you need to ease back a little bit, that's fine. Or if you feel like you can give a bit more. Three, two, and one. Guys, we'll take 15 seconds here in your transition. So this is a real deep stretch here. All right, get yourself set up. Three, two, and one. Excellent. So try and get yourself as comfortable as you can with that uh, object you're leaning on. Very nice, guys. Breathe through, we've got 15 seconds. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right, you guys. So I'm going to demo our next one as you guys rest there. I've grabbed a blanket here. If you have a cushion or something soft, you can even roll up your yoga mat to place under your back knee. So I'm gonna make sure that's nice and supported. So I'm coming into a forward lunge this time, taking my front foot a good distance away from that back knee, making sure it's out in front of my knee and dropping my hips down and through. And I have my two objects here for stability. So I'm going to spend 30 seconds here and then we're going to move into 30 seconds of pulling our heel to our um, butt cheek, getting as much range as we can, bending that knee as much as possible and at 30 seconds we're going to hold that knee up for the final 30. All right, so it's going to be 90 seconds total moving through three different exercises. So let me see your setup guys. Jenny, take that foot a little bit further in front. And T, you too, can you bring that front foot out further? You can take it off the dumbbell. Lovely, guys. So drop those hips, 
Try to sit up nice and straight with your uh, shoulders. Think of placing your shoulders on top of your hips. And we're here, guys, for 30 seconds. Off we go. So just relax here. Let your hips sink through to the floor. And breathe. When we go into our heel lifts in a minute, you can pick your hips up slightly or just think of activating them in that position. So last five seconds, three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna lift my hips slightly, so press into my front foot. And here we go, guys, you're pulling that back heel to your butt cheek. Nice hip flexor stretch here as well. And you're working that hamstring. 15 seconds. And then we're going to hold that heel up for the final 30, if we can. Last five, two and one. Hold the heel up, guys. Hold it up. You're going to feel that hamstring. Might go 20 seconds here is probably enough. Keep pulling it to the butt cheek as actively as you can. Really pull on that hamstring. Last five seconds, squeeze the hamstring. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Whew. All right. Shake it out here for 30 seconds. And we're going into that opposite leg in front. All right, 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. All right, drop those hips down and just relax here for the first 30. See if you can take some of the weight off your hands and let that weight fall into your hips. Nice deep breaths. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Just activate by pressing into the front foot and we're lifting that heel to our butt cheek. Try to close your knee angle as much as you can. Last five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Hold it up, guys. You feel that a hamstring. If it's about to cramp, you can lower the heel a little bit. But if not, keep trying to pull that uh, heel to your butt cheek. Last five seconds. Squeeze. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Whew. All right, we're going to stay in that same position. As you guys rest there, I'll actually, I don't need my blanket for this one. So I'll take my opposite leg out in front again. We're gonna go for just 30 seconds here, leaning into my stretch. And then I'm gonna do 30 seconds of internal, external hip rotation here. So if you can see my foot is twisting left and right. And I just want you to feel that hip almost in the socket, twisting left and right. Okay, so 30 seconds, just leaning into the stretch, and then 30 seconds hold. Off we go. Lovely, and whatever feels good here with your foot, guys, if you want to point your toes down, or to make it a little bit more intense, you can pull your toes back towards your shin. Very nice. Nice flat back here. Keep your shoulder blades pulled back and down. Three, two, one. Just stay where you are and just I want you to turn your toes left to right. And if you can bring the awareness, just think of that hip joint turning in its socket. Like so. Lean into this one, guys, and really turn. Nice, Sonia. Good rotation. 10 more seconds. 
Lovely. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, we'll go straight into our opposite leg. In three, two, and one. Just 30 seconds here to relax. Maybe you're a little bit more flexible at this stage and you can lean into that some more. Now's your time to show off. Can you touch your nose to your knee? <laughs> Not yet. Can you touch my chin to my chest? <laughs> Great work, guys. Three, two, one, and 30 seconds of rotating that hip left to right and after this we're coming into our last piece tonight we kept the fun part to last we're going to work on our splits <laughs> t can't wait <laughs> last five seconds here three two and one great work Okay, as always guys, have a little rest for a second and I'm going to show you my setup for our final stretch tonight. So getting your two objects for support. If you're working on a wooden floor, your sock might be perfect. I just have a little green cloth here as well that I'm going to place under my heel for extra slidiness. All right, our cushion. So coming into my half split. So I'm on my back knee and my other leg is out in front. I'm gonna, the more you point that toe guys and squeeze your quad, the more tension you can create and that will help you with that split. So I'm just holding my objects and I'm gonna allow that heel to slide. Maybe I don't go the full way in the first time. And when I feel like that's enough, I'm gonna to try to come up without using my hands and pressing my heel and dragging it backwards. All right, so second time, maybe I get a little bit further. And you can control it here by the tension in your hips. And then again, actively pulling back to that start position. So I'm really taking my time here. I'm only asking for five reps on each side. So again, I'm experimenting. I'm feeling good, so I'll go a little bit further this time. Now that I've gone further, I'm really holding on to my supports. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit of a lift, but really try to finish off that drag with my heel. All right, guys, so get yourself set up. I want you to challenge yourselves here because it can be a little bit scary sliding out into this position. So take your time with the first one. You don't have to go too far. And I want you to really focus on pulling yourself back with your heel to that start position. Now check that knee guys, that knee needs to be locked out dead straight. I want you to keep yourself in an upright position for this one. So even just go halfway, just go five to six inches forward and back again in that first one. Always keep your chest up here guys. You don't want to drop your chest forward. Nice, Sonia. And give yourself like five to 10 seconds, lovely Jackie, at the front of that split. Super, Donal. T, try to pull back with a straight leg. Really nice, guys. So slow it down. We still have a full five minutes here in class. Do five in each leg, and if we've time, we'll come back to two rounds here. Lovely, Jackie, and press the heel in, super. Okay, you and Warren are taking turns. <laughs> Lovely, Warren, really nice. And then work on that active heel drag. So again, that active hamstring work, pulling back, that actually increases your flexibility and your strength in that end range. So not only are you guys lengthening your range of flexibility you're going to be stronger in that position yes jenny beautiful that is super 
Once you've completed five guys, you can go ahead and switch onto the other side. And the more confident you get with this, the more reps you go through. Spend more time at the front of that split. Maybe you go for a 20 second hold out there. Fantastic. Jane, should your hips stay square or can the leg that's moving forward move forward? Super question, Sonia. So ideally with splits, you want your hips to stay square. So when that leg comes forward, my hips don't rotate like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. In a perfect world. But when you are just like experimenting through that position, like even for me, as I come forward, I do have a little twist. Right. Ideally, I should be trying to keep both my hip bones facing directly forward. But if you have a little twist, I'm okay with that. If you're getting down a little bit, a little bit more. I, mean, like, I don't feel like I have control over the hips doing that. When they, when they twist open. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't really go at all. Otherwise, so they just, that, that's, I feel like I can't stop them. I can't make them go straight again. When you start to twist, it does, you, you will lose control and you get a little bit forward. And when that happens to me, I need to use my support to get myself back into a square position and then I can drag my heel back. So that's a really good uh, point as well, Anna. So you lose, again, when you think when you twist, you're gonna lose a little bit of balance and control there. Yeah. But again, I'm not being overly picky. If you feel like, oh, I'm gonna go a bit further here and it twists a little bit, that's okay. Um, guys, we have um, two minutes here. Why don't we put out one leg in front and we'll just go for a 30 second hold. Warren, look at that split. That's impressive. All right, guys, so off you go, whichever leg you want to go with first. Clock is on. Keep that chest over your um, hips. Breathe, use your supports. If it's becoming too much, put a little bit of pressure into your hands. And just take an awareness to your hips. Are they nice and square or have they twisted a little bit? Again, I'm not going to be overly fussy. 10 more seconds. Maybe you let that heel slide a little more forward. Maybe you relax a little bit more. Three, two, and gently, guys, pull yourself. You can bend. I don't mind how you come out of this one. Beautiful. All right, you make your way into the other side. All right, sliding out guys. The clock is going on for 30 seconds. And again, check in with your body. Try to, even though you're in quite a poised position, try to relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, let go of any tension and breathe. 10 more seconds. Use your hand supports as much as you need. Three, two, and one. Beautiful guys. So just take yourself into a seated kneeling position. Rock those hips side to side. Excellent work today, guys. I have to say, I'm seeing some improvement in those splits. Does anyone agree? Yeah, I feel like it's small.